A 41 Action News investigation raised serious ethical questions about a multi-million dollar construction project for Kansas City Public Schools. In fact, the district issued a news release before our story aired last night, but now investigator Ryan Kath is uncovering a major flaw in the district's promise to be transparent. Krista, in that news release, the district tried to get ahead of our story and promised it was going to post the entire interview with this district leader on its website, but we discovered a very important part of our 40-minute exchange was missing. Our two-month investigation scrutinized the bidding process surrounding a pricey project to renovate Kansas City schools. We wanted to know how a businessman named Buddy Hawes started as an unpaid district advisor. Buddy did his uh, pro bono for us. So he advised you for free? Yes. But eventually established a mysterious company called HMM Construction Services and won the $32 million bid. Is there a reason you want to answer some of the questions? Along with obtaining bid documents and district emails, our investigation included a lengthy interview with Chief Operating Officer Mike Rounds. Last night, the district issued this press release calling the process, quote, transparent and ethical. It also promised full video of our interview with Rounds on its website. Upon first glance, it looked like the real deal. District officials even left the camera rolling after we finished the interview and started walking around. However, we took a closer look and discovered a major portion of the interview was missing. Here's what the district didn't want you to see. Did you ask Buddy when he was advising you to sign a non-disclosure agreement? I, I did not. Why not? I, I'm not even sure um, what value that would have, so uh, I guess you'd have to explain to me why you're asking that question. Our competitive bidding expert explained non-disclosure agreements are standard business practice to keep consultants or advisors like Haas from using inside information to their advantage. It boggles the mind. There is absolutely no reason not to have them sign that agreement. It would have been the first instinct of anybody trying to do it right. Competitive bidding 101, I would think. No, it's competitive bidding one. It's well before 101. We also showed you this email. Proof the district's attorney had confirmed, quote, an emphasis on the value of a non-disclosure agreement. Should you have done it? As the individual running the process, um, should I have done it? Maybe, but it's something that I have to go back and assess now. But you won't find this video on the district's website. The most revealing part of the interview, more than eight minutes worth, was edited out. So unless the definition of full video has changed, this promise for transparency looks a little fuzzy. We've had the entire video posted on our website since last night, so you can go to KSHB.com and check that out. Mark and Chris, it's a 40-minute interview, like we said. If you want to go, it's broken up into seven different clips. If you want to go to clips four and five, those contain the missing eight-minute section that was on the uh, district's website. You on, you're getting some reaction from this, too. We are getting a lot of reaction from people out there in the public. They're sending in more tips about this particular investigation, more tips about other things we should check out. So keep those tips coming. We're, we're looking into any and all leads, and we're going to stay on the story. All right, Ryan Kath, thanks.